To the big story, the Honey Festival in Breathitt County is a tradition that has survived more than four decades. But when the committee members resigned last week, social media speculation swirled and the festival seemed to be in doubt. But as Conroy Deluce explains, people are stepping up to make sure it continues for generations to come. Beekeeping may be a hobby for some, but it is hard work. Yeah, I've got about 15, 16 hives right here. And I've got that many more over there. I think I got a total of 31 hives. Matt Noble is one of many beekeepers in the county. Like many, while growing up, he finally remembers seeing jars of honey on display during the Honey Festival, which is a showcase of local food, music, and crafts. I remember one my grandma still has. It's the hillbilly hammer, and that was created with a piece of wood with a corn cob shoved on the end of it and then engraved on it. When Corey Goff learned that people who'd helped run the festival for years resigned from the committee, he was crushed, especially when rumors spread about the future of the festival. That's when he and his friends took action. They started talking to vendors and beekeepers like Noble. The city's mayor told us over the phone that she does in fact want the festival to continue in the heart of downtown but wants to maybe look at relocating the music and food to be closer with the rest of the attractions instead of down this hill. If you're packing your kids or um, strollers pushing up this hill, that's been another issue and a, definitely a wheelchair. The mayor hopes that new ideas and input will help continue the traditions of the festival, but also rejuvenate interest from the community. It's time for change. We have to embrace change and continue and have the Honey Festival keep going for sure. It's going to be wonderful. There are many ideas flying around and back from his beekeeping operation, Noble hopes that the honey is truly put back into the Honey Festival. In Breathitt County, Conroy Deluche, LEX 18 News. The festival is scheduled for Labor Day weekend and on Thursday there will be a meeting at 530 at City Hall to discuss ideas for the festival and all are welcome to attend.